What is going on, guys? It's me, Severin7, and I've got a little treat for you today. We're going to be opening some of these. I got some Duskborn Collector Boosters from my pre-release evening, so I figured I would open those for you guys uh, to celebrate the release of Duskborn coming up this week. Based on a poll from my subscribers, you guys seemed like you would enjoy that, so if you're not subscribed, make sure you hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and check out these awesome polls coming up. Let's get into it. Let's get into this. Pop this bad boy open. Look at this fancy shiny box art here. All right. Let's get into it. First pack. You can already see a coily gremlin there. Get some sleeves out here for our fun stuff. I'll try to get this where you guys can see here. So we'll go ahead and pop through these commons here. We got some commons. Ooh, sheltered by ghosts. Very nice pull there. Pretty planes. All right. First rare is Leyline of Hope. All right. And then Zimone's Hypothesis, our commander rare. Ooh, we got the Mind Skinner here. Full art screaming nemesis. Very nice. Alternate art unstoppable slasher. Very nice. And our token. All right, pack number two. This one's being a little stubborn. Please don't eviscerate me in the comments about how badly I'm opening these packs. <laughs> All right, let's go ahead and get through these comments real quick. See if there's anything particularly interesting. A bookworm, pretty mountain. I love the full art lands in this set. Let me actually separate those out real quick. All right, we got the Jolly Balloon Man. Nice. Jolly Balloon Man. Creepy art. Ancient Cellar Spawn is our commander rare of the pack. We've got Chainsaw Non-Foil, but still very cool looking. Enduring Vitality. Nice. And a foil... I uh, forget what they call this treatment. The uh, High Contrast Jolly Balloon Man. Super creepy. Cool looking. All right. That's going to be our first one that we put in a sleeve, I think. All right, sleeve that one up. Make sure that's safe. Keep that there. All right, on to the next one. That one came open nice. There we go. All right. Let's go ahead and get past these. Ooh, Wildfire Witcher Witch Folk, Wicker Folk, I think, is actually a really good uncommon. All right, we got our cool swamp. All right, cursed recording. It's really neat artwork, especially foil. Ooh, foil full art Renmaw creaking nest from the commander set. Very nice. We got a Tyvar the pummeler, non foil, but still very cool. High contrast there. We got a full art silent hall creeper, which I think this is actually a really cool card uh, and could really enable some of those Voltron uh, strategies we're looking at. And then a horn oculus with the alternate art full art foil. Beautiful. All right, so let's put our token away. Let's go ahead and sleeve a couple of these up. I want to sleeve up the Tyvar, the Renmaw, and the oculus. All right, decent pull so far. Nothing crazy yet, but some very, very interesting ones. All right. All right, let's get through these commons. And oh, possessed goat. <laughs> I love that card. Cynical loner, fear of abduction. Let's play a game. Got a pretty planes and a foil enduring tenacity is our first rare. Nice. Persistent Constrictor from the Commander set. Ooh, Valgavos Lair. Toby, Beastie Befriender, non-foil. Oh my goodness, look at this. Wow, that looks cool. 
Tyvar the Pummeler with the alternate art, and it's the textured foil, too. Wow. That's a good hit. Let's get that right into his sleeve. I don't know how much he's going for right now, but that is a very beautiful card. Yeah, let's get that nice and close there. Beautiful red and black artwork. I love it. All right, next pack. Let's see if we can keep up that good luck. All right, of course, grab the prize. Very interesting artwork there. Beastie Beatdown. A couple of rooms. Drag the roots. Our first forest from the set. Beautiful art. Love that. All right, we got a foil abhorrent oculus, the regular art. Frequent devourer from the commander set. Here past the veil with the cool alternate art there. And then we got dazzling theater prop room, full art room, and another full art room, roaring furnace and steaming sauna foil. Very nice. Right. The color and the tokens. All right. Look at that shard art on the token. That's really cool. All right. We got Raucous Carnival, Neglected Manor, Say Its Name, another really cool card. Orphans of the Wheat. Very neat artwork and funny reference there. Oh, we got an island. Very nice. And a foil Valgavoss Lair, regular artwork. Seance board from the Commander set. Twitching Doll, extended art. Another Roaring Furnace, Steaming Sauna, non-foil. And the Swarm Weaver, full art, alternate, uh, high contrast, very nice. Alright, see if there's anything interesting here in the commons and uncommons. Haunted screen, that's really cool looking foil. Alright, there's a forest. And restricted office lecture hall is our first foil. Very cool room. It's board wipe and really neat thing. We got a full art Rendmon non-foil, so that's pretty cool. Commander set. We got Demonic Council with the alternate order. So that's going to be a really good card, I think. Keep your eyes out on that. Winter Misanthropic Guide. Nice. These these high contrast arts are so beautiful. Like, look at that. Such a cool artwork. And then Foil Waltz of Rage with the alternate border. How cool is that? All right. That's red. This goes to black. Creepy gremlin. <laughs> All right, here we go. Hand that feeds one of the creepiest artworks in the set. Look at that. Fear of surveillance. Fog of Lost Faithful. That's going to be a really good com uncommon, I think. Fear of being hunted. Got a planes. And Leyline of Mutation, very nice. I see. Th think this is going to see a lot of play in Commander, so foils and alternate arts of this are going to be worth a lot, I think. So we got Leyline of Mutation, Curator Beastie from the Commander set, Omnivorous Flytrap with the creepy alternate border, nice Thornspire Verge, and a Gloom Lake Verge, full art foil. Beautiful. Glad to get some of these lands. I think these lands are going to be really good in multiple formats so and the foil ley line is really sweet winter's intervention fear of lost teeth very funny looking card piranha fly ooh we got a Unwanted remake with the cool border. Very cool. Fear of Infinity. 
It's a really neat art. It's a snake eating its own tail. And a mountain. Very nice. Omnivorous flytrap, regular art foil. Converts a slime from the commander set. Unstoppable slasher with the alt border. Very cool. Another flood farm verge. That's nice. And silent hall creeper full art foil. It's our second one of this exact card from this box, actually. And look, like, look at the spider token. Like, how creepy is that? With, like, all the eyeballs attached to it. Like, what? I did not want to open. <laughs> All right, turn inside out. Card everybody's real stoked about. Just kidding. Clockwork Percussionist. Fear of the Dark. Lionheart Glimmer. Very cool artwork. All right, there's an island. And we have Central Elevator Promising Stairs. This is the one... Where you can win the game if you control eight or more rooms. This is actually pretty cool. I like this one a lot. Sorry, the lighting's a little weird there. Boil. Gleeful Arsonist from the Commander set. Enduring Genocity, non-foil. Dissection Tools. I like this card a lot, actually. I think Dissection Tools reminds me a lot of Batter Skull from the original Scar uh, Mirrodin Block. Or Scars of Mirrodin Block. And a foil ley line of hope. Very nice. The extended art. Very cool. That's not the creepiest token art. <laughs> Alright, murder. Of course. Gotta have murder in a set about horror things, right? Unable to scream. Friendly ghost. Ooh, there we go. We got an uncommon with a cool art, alternate art border. Fear of Exposure. Another forest. And Mirror Room Fractured Realm. This one's a mythic, actually. It's really cool. When you unlock this door, you make a copy of a creature you control, except it's a reflection. And then for seven mana, you basically get a Panharmonicon. Suspended Sentence from the Commander set. Valgavoss Onslaught with a cool alternate art border. Very neat. Another Jolly Balloon Man with the contrast art. Very cool. And Entity Tracker. This card's going to be really good, especially like it with the alt art. And it's actually the Lurking Evil version of it, too. Very cool. Awesome. And the last one... All right, last one. Anthropede, given to violence. I like that art a lot. Friendly Teddy. Creepy Crab. Attack in the box. That's one of my favorite card names in the set. All right, Island. Let's see what we got. Oh, Foil Overlord of the Mistmore is nice. Very cool. All right, we got Demolisher spawn from two Overlords in one pack. What? Extended art Overlord of the build, uh, Boiler Bilges. Leyline of the Void. And a foil Extended Art Enduring Innocence. Very cool. That was a good last pack. And we got the Beastie token, which is one of the rare ones. All right, so these are the cards that I'm most that like. I, I leaved up the ones I thought were most valuable or that I was most excited about. So let's just go ahead and review really quickly. We've got a foil Overlord of the Mistmores. We've got a foil Enduring Innocence. Non foil but extended art Overlord of the Boiler Burges. We got a non foil full art Floodform Verge. Foil Leyline Mutation. 
Foil Full Art Gloom Lake Verge. Very nice artwork there. Non-foil Full Art Thor Inspire Verge. The Creme to the Creme of the Box. Tyvar the Pummeler with the alternate raised foil black and red. Which if you compare it to, I think we have the regular one here. You can see what the... That was a green card, right? We may have actually... Yeah, it's right there. So there's the original artwork. Both are very cool. But I love that black with the red. Like, oh my goodness, that looks so cool. A foil, full art, abhorrent oculus. So we've got the Tyvar the Pummeler there. We've got foil, Rendmaw Creaking Nest from the Commander set. And a foil, Jolly Balloon Man. Very cool. All in all, that was a pretty awesome set of packs. I think we opened some really awesome cards. Uh, if you'd like to see more stuff like this, make sure you hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. Let me know in the comments which pulls you were most excited about. Let me know if you've had any awesome pulls from your packs since Duskborn is released. If you went to your pre-release and got some packs early, I'd love to hear about it. And I hope that you enjoyed this as much as I enjoyed doing it for you. And with that, I will catch you in the next one.